The next challenge is to draw a labyrinth. Now this is quite a bit trickier than drawing your maze. So instead of squared paper, this time you're going to need some plain paper. You need a pencil and a rubber again and a compass if you can get your hands on one. If not, you could try and make a compass by attaching some string to a pencil, which can be your compass point, and attaching that piece of string to another pencil, which can draw your lines. OK, if you need any help with that, just send me a wee message and I can give you some instruction on how to make a compass. OK, drawing a labyrinth. So using your plain paper, a pencil and a ruler, and starting in the middle, you need to make a set of nine tiny vertical dots one centimetre apart from each other. So each of these dots should be one centimetre apart from each other. And I can use my ruler to show me how to draw those dots. Then I'm going to put my compass here on the bottom dot. And with my compass there, I'm going to extend my pencil to make a set of eight semicircles that go through my points that I made. So my compass is here. I draw one little semicircle here, two, three, all the way up to eight. Now, this is when it gets a little bit tricky, so you're going to have to listen very well to the instructions. Your next job is to place your compass point on the bottom right hand edge of the second smallest semicircle. Now that's a lot to take in. So the bottom, so we're looking at this line here, right hand, so it's on the right hand side, edge of the second smallest semicircle. Well, the smallest semicircle is here, the second semicircle is smallest semicircle is here and I can see this handy red dot to tell me that it's that one that we need to be at. From this dot you're going to put your um, compass there and make a set of six curved lines from the end point stopping where the red line is shown. So that straight line that comes from your red dot there you're going to draw your semicircles from each of these lines all the way to your red line here and then you're going to rub that red line out. There we go. Now your next job is place the compass point on the bottom left hand edge of the third smallest <coughs> semicircle. Okay, bottom is here, left hand is on this side, third smallest, one, two, three, third smallest semicircle there, fantastic. Make a set of six curved lines from your end point, so you put your compass here and drawing your one, two, three, four, five curved lines there. We're going to have to change that to five curved lines. One, two, three, four, five. From the end point on your second semicircle, stopping where the red line is shown. Okay, so stopping at that straight line from your dot there. How's that looking? So it should look a little bit like this before we put our um, line in. Now you're going to join the edges of your second smallest quarter circles with a straight horizontal line. So these are our quarter circles here, second smallest. Okay, so that's that one here. You're going to join them together with a straight horizontal line, horizontal meaning flat. Then you're going to draw a vertical straight line up, down from the right hand edge of the second of the smallest semicircle. So from this point here, your smallest semicircle, you draw a little line down. How are we doing so far? Are we still all with me? And then you're going to connect this point here with this bottom semicircle here. Okay, so we've got a little cross here. Does yours look like that on your piece of paper? Next thing you're going to do is you're just going to connect these two loops here to make a couple of sausages. So we want a sausage here, a sausage here, a sausage here, and a sausage here. Let's see if you can make a good sausage. There you go. Okay, now it's time to test it out. Is there one single path to the center? Use your finger and follow our maze and see if there's a single path to the center. Does yours work too? Let me know if it works out. If you want to really boggle your brain, you can think about how to scale your labyrinth up or down. 
but that's a really big brain boggler. Well done team, we'd love to see pictures of your labyrinths if you manage to make one, we'd be super duper impressed. <laughs>